Super welterweight bout, and we've got it scheduled for four rounds. Lavulo, by the way, he'll be in the uh, purple and white trunks. He'll be making his professional debut, but more about all of that a little bit later on. Jimmy Lennon Jr. Hey fans, here we go. Our next bout scheduled four rounds of boxing. Presenting to you on my left, fighting out of the blue uh, corner. Wearing light blue trunks with white trim, he hails from Los Angeles, California. The weight is 149 and one half pounds. His record 0 and 1. Please welcome babyface Vince Wilkerson. And his opponent across the ring on my right in this four round bout, he's fighting out of the white corner. Wearing orange and white trunks, he's originally from the friendly island of Tonga, now fighting out of Long Beach, California. Weighing in tonight, 152 pounds. Tonight is his de professional debut. As an amateur, he had 167 wins and a member of the 1984 Tongan Olympic team. Introducing Mr. Foots, Lisiate Lavulo. Vince Delgado, referee in charge. Come here. All right. Remember the instructions? I want a nice clean fight. You understood? All right. Check hands. Good luck. Well, here's a couple of guys with odd uh, names. Babyface Wilkerson is 5'7". Luvulo, they call him the foot, is 5'10". 152 pounds, a two-and-a-half pound advantage for Luvulo. 22 years of age, and he's a year younger than Wilkerson. Wilkerson has a three-inch reach. Why do they call Lavulo Mr. Foots? Because he's got big feet. Didn't take long for Wilkerson to step on him either. <laughs> Check those trunks out on Lavulo. Oh, yeah, he's from Tonga. <laughs> I'm scared just sitting here. Look at his eyes. <laughs> They're bigger than Magic Johnson on a fast break. And Babyface says, wow, that hurt. Oh, it's man. a four-rounder. Wide open eyes. Boy, has he got big eyes. from San Diego now lives in L.A. And uh, Lavuno of Long Beach, California is told, keep your punches up. Wilkerson's getting hit too, Chick. It's going to be a war. <laughs> They're scheduled for four. The difference here is Lavuno making his uh, professional debut, but he had 160 or so amateur fights. That's right. Now, Wilkerson, who's had one pro fight but had no amateur career. He was fooling around the gym, learned to box, and said, I want to be a pro, and here he is. He lost his only fight here. That was on May the 26th, a majority decision. Gil Young is in his corner. Alex Patton handles Lavula. Lavulo, I think is the way I should say it. Strange thing about Mr. Foots, Lavulo, he says he's ambidextrous. That's okay with his hands, but he says he's ambidextrous too with his feet. <laughs> well, it's not kickboxing. <laughs> Tonga Olympic team. He might have been the only member of the Tonga Olympic team. He gets athletes what they buy for the case. <laughs> he got stuck with a right hand right on the nose. Lavulo against Wilkerson. Wilkerson in the light blue trunks fighting in the South Boss style, and here we got Lavulo stepping back. He's got a reach advantage. They've both been switching from right-handed to left. -handed. I know it. Vince Delgado, the third man in the ring, just one of the core of the great referees that work in Southern California. And these fellows work all over the world as far as that goes. Oh, good left hand. He threw it from nowhere. Hit Lavalo right in the chin. Final two seconds of round one. Blue drunks against Lisiate Lavalo. 
Feliciati pulls those trunks up any higher, they're going to be around his nose. He's southpaw now, and Wilkerson's gone to righting, but they have changed from time to time. Labilo is three inches taller and 5'10". Wilkerson's getting a steady commentary from his corner, Chick. I can hear it, yeah. <laughs> Poor guy says, I just wanted to fight. I didn't need a lecture. <laughs> Hanging around the gym, picked up the gloves. Now he's gone southpaw. That guy doesn't know you're the blow-by-blow -blow guy. <laughs> How'd you score the first round? I uh, gave a Wilkerson a slight edge of 10 to 9. It was a close round, though, Chip. I think they're all going to be close. He landed a real stiff punch near the end of the round. I thought gave him a bit of an edge. Between them, they've had one professional fight. This is the debut of Lavulo, and Wilkerson is nothing at one. Everybody had to start somewhere, though. Got to give them credit. Well, they're out there trying. I'll tell you one thing, uh, Lavulo has got a pretty good body on him, you know, legs, arms, shoulders. He looks like a fighter. Yes, he does. He won the Hawaiian State Amateur as a junior middleweight. And, it, and this is really tough, really, uh, what Wilkerson is trying to do, and that's having no amateur training whatsoever. He's just trying to come in off of gym workouts and be a professional. Really tough. You might say he's doing it for the fun of it, a few bucks, or to find out, hey, maybe this is a good career for me. He's a high school grad. Round number two. So put two in the books. All right, they come out with a rush to start the third round. How'd you score through two? Well, I have Wilkerson out in front. I've given them each round, although I thought each one was very close, Check, very tight. Wilkerson and they light blue trunks. Nothing, you know, in the way of really telling blows so far. No. Wilkerson and Mr. Foots Lavalo. I love his nickname and I love those trunks. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> you don't want to wear a pair of those on the beach, Jack? <laughs> Wilkerson just stays right on top of him. He does. gives him no punching room whatsoever. He's doing what uh, Mitchell did earlier tonight. Getting inside the longer reach man. Wilkerson trying to level his pro record at 1-1. One one. Lavalo trying to go 1-0. Oh. They both 
looked like they might have worked out a week or so at Gold's Gym. Especially Wilson, he's got a great big upper body. Yeah. He's 149 and a half. And he throws punches the way you would expect a guy that heavily muscled, too. His, right. his arms are not real loose. He doesn't throw straight punches. It kind of comes around from the side. That's it. The end of the third round. One round to go. And both men seem just a little bit weary going back to the corner. As we take a look at uh, Lavulo's corner chick, when he comes out now for the fourth round, this will be the first time that he's ever gone into a fourth round because this is his professional debut. And of course, all of his amateur fights were three rounds or less. Three rounds or less. So he's going into untested territory for him. And he hasn't had that easy of a fight yet. Wilkerson's corner now. Gil Young over there talking to him. Gil talks to him throughout the three minutes plus the minute in between. <laughs> He's going to smother him. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that in the gym. <laughs> I just get down there to kill time. Leave me alone. Get that stuff off my forehead. All right. All right, Wilkerson's trying to get that first win. Yeah, so is the other guy. Is this a hard fight to score? I think the first round was pretty close. Could have gone either way, but I gave it to Wilkerson, and I gave him the last two as well. I think the way that he fought that third round, Chick, is just the, the perfect way to fight the bigger man here. Just stay on top of him. Don't give him any punching room. Now the warning goes from Vince Delgado to Wilkerson. Don't punch when I'm breaking it. That's a sign fine left hand by Wilkerson. waving at Wilkerson to come in, come on in, come in, come in. Neither of these guys claims the other one beat him with experience, I believe it. <laughs> Should have been using earlier. There's a little uppercut in close. Yeah, it was a good uppercut. So will it be Mamulo or will it be Wilkerson? We'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, we have a split decision. Larry Rosadia scores the bout 39-37, Vince Wilkerson. Lou Moret, 39-37, Lavulo. 
And Judge Chuck Hassett scores about 39, 37 in favor of the winner. And his first win, Vincent Wilkerson. All right, his first professional victory. I don't care how far he goes in fighting or if he ever fights again, he'll never forget this night. Yeah, I know he had a set of the nerves coming in here, Chick. He wanted to get that first win, and especially a kid without any amateur career behind him, and he got it. He gave it a good effort. And so did Lee Siate Lavulo as he loses his pro debut. His record, nothing. And one, obviously, in Wilkerson, one and one. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, our next show is July the 27th. And then again on August the 1st, we've got another beautiful uh, championship bout show. And it's going to be the kind of uh, nights that we always give you right here on Prime Ticket Television. It's time now, I'm sorry to say, for us to say goodbye to all of our friends on the Forum Entertainment Some Network. problems for him. You better believe it because Ali Salam is a bit taller and he's got a longer reach. He's got faster hands. If he uses this ring and with those combinations, he could be a real problem for Bobby Joe. All right. The local favorite here is Seamus McDonough. Last time out, he was beaten by the speedy Mike Peake, frustrated by Mike Peake, who ran and hit him with some quick combinations. Mike Peake has beaten both of them, McDonough and Hopper, but he could do that with his fast legs. Now, if McDonough did not learn from that loss to Peake, he could very well be in for the same kind of night because Vince Hopper who fought Chris Reed right here in the Fell Forum in March beat him with movement and going in and out he might do the same thing again to McDonough who could lose number two in a row also on the card Lenny LaPaglia one-time middleweight now fighting as a light heavyweight this is a man with some outstanding power 31 and 5 record 21 and 29 knockouts now stepping up into the light heavyweight division and trying to move into contention you said outstanding power capitalize all those letters either at 168 pounds of the new division they're forming, super middleweight or light heavyweight. Either hand, left hook, right cross, uppercut, anything the guy hits you with to the head or the body, he is devastating. The one thing to remember about Lenny LaPaglia, he hits, but he also can be hit very very easily. Yeah, he gets tagged with leather. That's why he is the fight fans fighter. He gets hit, and he could crunch you. Should be a good card tonight. Also on the card, unbeaten heavyweight Alex Stewart. He'll kick it off for us. We get a look at a real promising heavyweight. Somebody's got to be out there to beat Mike Tyson. Is it Alex Stewart? Well, we've been watching his progress. We'll have to keep watching. You know, going back to the Hopper and Seamus McDonough fight, Hopper fighting Chris Reed, he came from out of town and came out with a draw. So he could come out and be a surprise tonight for Seamus McDonough. Okay, we'll be set to go with our fight card on Fight Night at the Felt Forum. Unbeaten Alex Stewart heads it off.